From Hollywood, the dating capital of the world, in color, it's the dating game. And here's the strawberry alarm clock. Representing the strawberry alarm clock for game one this evening will be star drummer boy Randy Seal. Game two centers around lovely Barbara Anderson, Raymond Burr's talented cohort on TV's Ironside. And Jim Lang will be here to get things going right after these words. Let's meet all three of our young eligible bachelors, and here they are. Good luck, gentlemen. A young actor slated for stardom, bachelor number one scored an instant hit as the nimble-footed delivery boy in Stanley Kramer's Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. He was born in Houston, Texas, and we'd like you to welcome Skip Martin. Hi, Skip. A potential teacher, bachelor number two augments his educational career with his work as a refreshment stand manager. He's lived in Europe for five years. His main sport is track, and his name is Jay Peterson. Good luck, Jay. Well, with their first recording, Incense and Peppermints, America recognized a fiery new musical group, and today, the Strawberry Alarm Clock have it made but good. An idol of the young set, bachelor number three in the group are currently guesting on the screen in Dick Clark's Psych Out. Their new album on Uni Records is called Wake Up, It's Tomorrow. We'd like you to welcome Randy Seo. Good luck, Randy. And that board of bachelors should certainly upset our first young lady. Now, of course, to prevent her from hearing the introductions of our three gentlemen, we've kept her isolated off stage in a soundproof room. I'd like to introduce her to all of you and you right now. As bright and shiny as a new penny, she's a student who spends every summer on the beaches of Hawaii among the elite of the surfing set. By contrast, she's won awards for her ice skating skill. We'd like you to meet Kathy King. Hello, Kathy. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. Kathy, I know you're familiar with the game, but just briefly, I'll explain it again so you won't forget there are three gentlemen over there. One of them will be your date. Now, you are the sole decider of which one it'll be. You understand, right? I sure do. Questions all set? Right here. Okay, let's have them say hello then. Bachelor number one, would you say good evening to Kathy? Hi, Kathy. Thank you. Bachelor number two? Hello, Kathy. And bachelor number three? Good evening, Kathy. Okay, they sound ready. All set? Sure do. Have a right? seat then. Make yourself comfortable. Gentlemen, stand by because she's going to suck it to you. Good luck. If on our first date, my father snuck a tape recorder under the back seat of your car and called you up the next day to hear the playback, would you show up? Uh, this is batch number two. Number two. Yeah, I'd show up. Give him a real good show, too. Okay. How about you, number three? <laughs> yes, I'd show up, because um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not afraid. Oh, he, good. He would I, be there. I like brave men. All right, batch number one. If I were a little teeny lady, only three inches tall, where would you keep me and what would you use me for? Well, I keep you in my vest pocket because I, I don't know. I'd uh, I'd think of my hamster, which I used to take to uh, school all the time. But uh, I, I like that companionship. Oh, all right. How about number two? I'd put you on my transmission so you could be my gear shift knob, and I can have my hands on you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Number two. Uh, bachelor number two. Look at bachelor number three. All right. Are you looking at him? Yeah, I can dig him. <laughs> okay. Now tell me what he's good for. It's good for nothing, for one. <laughs> All right, number three, what is number two good for? I'd say um, driving around on Van Nuys Boulevard with his hot 58 Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'm a Yale leader, and I just might pick the one based on the basis of your most romantic and original yell. So, bachelor number one, let's hear yours. Mm, let me think. I was a cheerleader, too, if I can think of one. Uh... All right, how about number two? Well, he was just ready to go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Then we'll come back. Okay. All right. Um, for one. the yellow, for the yellow, for the yellow fight fight. 
Yay, Kathy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't all right, thank you. Number two, do you have a yell for me? Yeah, sure do. It's all. Throw away. Throw it in. It's all. Throw away. Oh. All right. <laughs> uh huh. Uh. Bachelor number three. Oh, Kathy. <laughs> that sounds like you're in pain. Uh, bachelor number one. If your face appeared on a wanted poster, what would your reward be, and what would you be wanted for? I think my reward would be probably around two or three million, and I would uh, be wanted for being kind of um, unsquare and uh, not quite fitting with everyone else. Huh? Okay, real great. How about number three? I would be wanted, I'd say, I'd, I'd settle for a million. And it would be for the reason of um, girls. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bachelor number two, what would you be wanted for? I'd be wanted for being an idiot, and I'd have to pay them to take me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've always wanted to be a private eye. If on our first date we accidentally captured the kissing bandit, and all of a sudden he started covering me with kisses, and I found out I liked it, what would you do, number three? I would... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's your choice. <laughs> and um, if, if, you, you know, if you're really going to like him, I hate to mess up anybody's life. Yeah. And, um, but I'd, I'd put up a good fight, I'll tell you, just, just to see what I could get out of him to show him up. Other than that, if, you know, it's your choice. Okay. Number two, what would you... I'm sorry, Kathy, that's the signal. Time is up. Now you must decide. You have one minute to make up your mind. And while she's deciding on a choice for a wild date, we'll take time out for this message. Love special. Far out. Welcome back to the dating game. And Kathy, you have a choice to make. There are three gentlemen over there, each one desirous of a date with you. The important thing, of course, is which one you are desirous of dating. The question is, will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Kathy, which is your choice? Number three. Number three! All right. Okay. Congratulations to bachelor number three on being selected. And Kathy, before we meet the gentleman you did not choose, is there any reason why you selected number three? Anything that stood out? Yes, because he told me he would protect me from the kissing bandit. Oh, I thought he was <laughs> going to compete with him, but I'm sure that he would protect you anyway. And before we meet him, we'll meet the other guys. First bachelor number one is an actor, a fine actor, who wants more serious roles in the future. He had a lighthearted role of a dancing delivery boy and guess who's coming to dinner? His name is Skip Martin. Skip, come on and say hello to Kathy, if you would. Skip, good job. Great yell. Thank you. You also didn't select bachelor number two, Kathy. This gentleman is going to be a teacher to pick up some cash. He's working as a refreshment stand manager right now. He lived in Europe for five years. Right now, of course, back in L.A., Jay Peterson. Jay, if you would, come on and say hello to Kathy. Jay, good job. Thank you very much, both of you gentlemen. I tell you, this is the sentimental season, and when the sound of music is a sentimental sound, it is now. And that's why for each of you from ITCC, the International Tape Cartridge Corporation, we have a selection of eight-track stereo tape cartridges, including the original soundtrack of Valley of the Dolls, which is exclusive on ITCC, plus an eight-track tape playback unit, all guaranteed to lend a romantic background to your bachelor pad. Jay, thank you. Skip, thanks, buddy. Good luck to you. Are you ready, Kathy? <clears throat> I certainly hope you are. I'd like to tell you something about the gentleman you did select. He is a member of a group. Yes, right. The group is in a new movie called Psych Out. Their new album on the Uni Records is called May a Wake Up, It's Tomorrow. He is the drummer and singer with the strawberry alarm clock, Randy Seal. Randy, come on and say hello, please, to Kathy. Congratulations, Kathy and Randy. Well, I could use the quotation, not tonight, Josephine, to let you think you're going to Paris, or we could trigger an Italian date with the much quoted, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. But we have a quotation for you and Randy, which is the basis for one of the most unique dream dates we've ever had. Because you're going to the origination point of the quotation, Dr. Livingston, I presume. You are going to Victoria Falls in Zambia, Africa. Africa. 
where his guests from the Zambia National Tourist Bureau, you and your dating game chaperone, will first visit Lusaka, the garden city, the modern capital of Zambia. This will be your jumping off point for a fantastic safari. First to Livingston, which takes its name from the famous explorer David Livingston. Then to Victoria Falls, also known as the Smoke That Thunders. The falls are one of the great natural wonders of the world. You'll also cruise along the Zambezi River on the African Queen to see the amazing variety of wildlife along its banks. You'll visit Kafu National Park, the largest game park in Africa, and you'll have many an opportunity to sightsee along the Cairo Road with its gemstone shops and exotic restaurants and night spots. Transportation to Africa, arranged by TWA, the all-jet airline, whose luxurious Starstream jets fly coast to coast in the USA, and across the Atlantic to Europe, Africa, and Asia. You're up, up, and away, T-W-A. Isn't that wild? Have fun on your safari. Thank you, Randy. Good luck to you and the group. See you later.